Hey everyone, today I have for you my haul for the month of Feb. I'm so excited about everything that's in here. Um, it's been a bit of a spendy month for me, but honestly, at this point, I'm just doing what makes me happy and all of these stickers make me smile. So let me show you what I've got. And let's start off with this one right here on top. I just got this one yesterday, I think. This is from the TPC sale that Carly Plans had. I think it was the TPC sale. So I have a lot of freebies here. We'll start with those. So up top, I've got the $30 plus freebie and the exclusive colorway for March, which looks like it's gonna be these pretty like it's like a pink, like a dusty pink, like a lilac and a lime, not lime, like a mint green, a sage green. So yeah, the, I really like this sampler. I feel like it's super functional and I'll get a use out of all of these. I also have the $15 plus freebie, which has these cool like summer spring icons and makes me so excited for warmer weather. Here's the freebie for Feb. It also includes some more spring icons that I think we're gonna see in the shop soon. Here's a freebie announcing that the next TPC sale will be in March, the 10th through the 14th. So mark your planners for that if you want. And it has these like fun, um, like games and activities type of icons. And then this is the PR freebie that I got. I used Elisa's code and this one is in the vibrant colorway, which is not like my favorite colorway, but it's good to have these um, for whenever you need a color like the sprites. So these are the freebies. Oh, I have more actually. Oh my God. So I had like um, a little bit of a pizza crust left for my lunch. And I looked over and I just saw Dandy eating it. It's like gone entirely. That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay. Anyway, so I also got the $50 plus freebie, which was this full sheet in this like beautiful, like purpley blue colorway. And then also this game night uh, script sheet. So that's like, really generous. So <laughs> I was showing my husband uh, all of these freebies and he's like, what did you actually pay for? <laughs> Uh, let me show you what I paid for. <laughs> okay, so to start off, I got these bathtubs in the assorted colorway because I have like a new soaker tub that I'm really excited to try out. So I think I'm going to be taking a lot more bubble baths. I got the YouTube uh, play buttons in the Feb colorway. I got these game controllers in the Feb colorway. I got the books because I've been doing a lot more reading. I got the hot coffees um, in the assorted colorway because I do like treating myself to Starbucks whenever I'm near one. Um, and I prefer my coffee hot, so that's why I got these. I got the law gavels in neutral, I think it is, because I am a lawyer and I do have to take... Um, like continuing education classes. So I wanted these to mark that. I got these sticker sheets. I use these a lot to mark planning or making like a big sticker order. I got the YouTube hearts. I got the TVs. And I got pillows. So a lot of these icons I already have, but I wanted to get the Feb colorway because I think it's so pretty. I got couches to mark lazy days. So I got that in the Feb colorway and also the neutral colorway. And then I got some scripts. I think this is font one. I got paint nails, lazy day, planning time. And I got two sheets of Animal Crossing because I've been playing like every night. YouTube binge and sleep in and the cleaning time and that was my order from Carly Plans. Up next I have an order from Crest Press 
So to start off, I got some doodles. I also got this um, like little rack bag, this doodle sampler in gray, and also this washi cutter card, washi card, I don't know. But these are the doodles that I picked up. I got the Game Boy ones because I do have um, a Game Boy Color that I've been playing. I haven't played it in a little bit, but I'm so close to finishing. Um, it's Pokemon Yellow and I'm so close to finishing the game. So I really want to get back into that. I got these nail polishes for when I paint my nails. I got the cruise ship icons because I am going on a cruise pretty soon and I'm so excited. And then I got um, these foiled birthday quotes because my birthday's coming up soon. And they say, happy birthday, my love. On this day, a queen was born. Let's party and make a wish. So I got this sheet specifically for this quote up here because I like to think that I'm queen. And oh, and then I got these um, paint brushes because I am painting my new house and I'm painting my planner room by myself. So. It's definitely a task and those are all the doodles that I got then I picked up two kits starting off with this one it's called level up I got this as a birthday kit for my husband because he's kind of a gamer guy but the more I look at it the more I like it <laughs> and so I'm gonna be using this for my birthday because um, I love Animal Crossing and it's featured in this kit so you have your little pinata your cereal. I love this cake. It looks so good. And here you, here you can see the switch with the Animal Crossing and back here as well. I love how they have this little Among Us dude in the back. So yeah, this is just like a fun birthday kit that I'm really excited to use. Um, let me flip through it. I did get the um, ultimate format because I've decided that the mini kits just don't have enough for me. So that's why I switched over. I think these colors are really pretty. I'm not sure about the yellow though. I do wish the green that's in the boxes was pulled in more. But yeah, I think this kit is just so fun. I'm so excited to use it. I love all the rainbow. And this bottom washi is beautiful. And so I did get the washi strip to go with this just to break up that pattern a bit. And then this was a freebie that came with the kit. It's, um, it just says level up. I think I will use this. <sighs> I'm not sure where I'm going to use this. I thought maybe on the actual day of my birthday, but then I can't use the birthday quote with that. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, so that's this kit. Next kit I have is called Till Death. And it's like this vampy love kit that I think is so cool. I saw that a lot of people, um, we're getting this for Valentine's Day, but my wedding anniversary is actually on Halloween, so I'm going to save this for that, and I'm so excited about it. I showed my husband, and he thought it was great. So here you have these two fashion girls. Um, I love this, like, purple lingerie. I love the skull and the cloche. Um, don't tell my mom about this. There's a Ouija board, <laughs> and there's beautiful cake and some sparkling wine. I love this uh, tall box here. I just love these colors. I think this beige is a fun way to make this a little bit, bit less dark. Here's some of the deco. I never know how fast to flip through these, but I think since this is a format that we're pretty familiar with, I can go pretty quick. I do think this bottom washi is a bit boring. And it looks like I got the 15 millimeter strip, so that'll at least be something to break up all that red. And then here are some extra skin tone options. And then I got the um, Fashion Girl add-on. Not because I really like these Fashion Girls, but this one really looks like me. So I'm gonna replace that girl up here and use this one. And then I'm gonna replace her probably with the tall box. So yeah, I'm like super excited to use this. I, it's, it's perfect for my anniversary week. 
Next, I'll show you this order I got from Planner Choco to go with that level up kit. Um, here's the freebie and here's the foil that I got to go with that level up kit. I did a poll on my Instagram to see what foil color you guys thought would be best and green won by like an, a good amount. So I agree. I think it's definitely a good option. So I got the 15 millimeter strips here and then I got three sheets of the overlays because I think I'm going to be using all the full boxes I can. And then I got these headers and I think I'm just going to use like one of each. I'm not sure about how I'm going to do that yet. And I also got some more of these. I know I bought some to go with um, a specific kit, but I think I've got those in rose gold and I decided I wanted them in silver as well. So I got two of the full box overlays, one of the um, header overlays, and then the washi overlays. And then I also got these for springtime in gold. I've noticed that I like putting these at the top of my page instead of putting deco up there. So that's what these are for. And then I got two sheets of foil quilt overlays. So I got these in silver. They say live wild, flower child, fresh cut flowers, bloom where you are planted, and I love spring days. I really love this one up here and this one's too. So I got these in silver and then I got another sheet in gold. This one just has a boot with some florals. This one says stay wild. All good things are wild and free and maybe she's a wildflower. I've been seeing a lot of kits come out in... Um, that are like cottage core theme and I'm obsessed with that theme. So I thought that I needed these um, for all of those kits. And they look a little funny on camera, not sure why. So I hope they work just fine once I actually use them. Up next, I have a foil order from Murdoch Toss. This is my first order from them. I have heard mixed reviews about this shop, but when I saw this like foil, I had to have it. It's like their matte pink. It's so pretty. It's actually more vibrant in person than I thought it would be. And so I'm not sure what kit I'm going to use this with, but I just had to have it. I got the um, circle icons, the cutout icons, the numbers and corners and deco. Then I got four sheets of the full box overlays, I'm guessing, so I could spread this out between two different kits got two sheets of the header overlays and then one sheet of the bottom washi so i'll let y'all know if i like this shop or not because i have heard like i said that sometimes there are issues with the cut lines so hopefully this one won't give me any trouble next up i have an order from another shop that's new to me and uh, they're quickly becoming uh well known in the planner community i would say i'm seeing a lot of people repost their stuff and that is Planet Fancy. Uh, this is my first order from them. I do have another one on the way. Uh, this is the freebie that it came with and these are offered as full sheets um, on their shop and I think they're so pretty. I love this pattern here. And this is the kit that I ordered. I got it in the biggest size that they offer because the other sizes don't come with the glitter headers and they don't sell them separately. And you just get so much in the bigger option that it kind of makes it worth it. So let me go through this kit with you. It's cottage core themed, which I love. I love the colors. I think that it's not what we typically see in the planner community. So it feels very fresh and different. Here you have some jam and some croissants. You have this bear that I think is a little weird, but that's neither here nor there. Um, you have this basket of flowers. I love these bees on this envelope. I love this little like mushroom teapot. This outfit's adorable. And this girl, she came in like this option as well. So I have all these options to work with. Um, and I think I'm just going to keep the one in the kit because I like how her hair looks with everything else. Um, here are the patterned boxes. Again, I wish that the smaller kit sizes offered the pattern boxes, 
but I think that they only offer the solid boxes and I wanted to have the patterns in there just to give the kit some more dimension. So these are the solid boxes. These up here are washi strips in different sizes and these look like they're little things sized and you can just put like an icon, you know, on the end there. Um, I guess I'll go through this a little bit more closely than other kits since um, the shop is, it seems like, I don't know how long they've been around, but they've really blown up recently. Um, okay, here's your weekly tracker and then two check boxes and then two smaller check boxes. These are some appointment labels and then some, I don't know what you call these, more labels. <laughs> Here you have eight square boxes. I actually don't like these. I don't like how they look. I feel like they really throw off the look of the planner spread. Um, so I won't, I probably won't use those. Here you have some deco, which is actually really cute. And then you have four flags and then four bigger flags and then four more labels, which they have like the blank spot on one side, but I suppose you could just flip it and have it on the other side depending on what you prefer. Here you have eight more square boxes. Um, again, I don't like those. <laughs> you have some deco, some scripts. You have two habit trackers, a movie marquee, and two flags, weekend banner. This deco over here is by itself. Here you have your washi page with the three strips and you have your date covers which have this really pretty script font. You have an extra box so so far we have eight full boxes, nine full boxes, what's nine plus four? Thirteen? Thirteen full boxes. So you get thirteen full boxes and then you get Four tall girls. I don't particularly care for this box. I don't like the feet, so I'm not gonna be using these. So that seems like a little bit of a waste, but um, that's okay. And then you also get a double box, which is beautiful. I think it's the same one as here, but it's nice to have an option of the bigger one. And then you get your glitter headers. So, I'm really excited to try out this format and I'm really excited to see what else this shop comes out with because a lot of their stuff is just beautiful and they're so nice. I've talked to them on Instagram every now and then and I, they're just good to chat with. Up next, I have an order from Shop Jessica Hearts and I have my March monthly kit, which is a photo kit and it's really beautiful. March is the my birthday month. So I wanted to get something that was like really pretty, obviously. <laughs> and so it says, may the flowers remind us why the rain is so necessary. And it's like pink and green. I'm obsessed with this shade of green lately. And here you have this one that goes in the extra days. And here's your sidebar. It looks like it's a girl with a pretty dress. And you have these beautiful boxes. I love these boxes to like cover up days where I don't have anything going on. So yeah, that's my March kit. This was the freebie that I got with my order. Uh, Jessica has a kit that matches this artwork, which is so pretty. It's called Gorgeous Gorgeous Girls. And I think I'm gonna have to go back and get that one because I love this art. And here's the kit that I got. It's Countryside Living. It is a photo kit, which are not my favorite, but whenever I see one that's like gorgeous, I have to have it. And this one is again, very cottage core, and floral and just green and bright and beautiful. So when I saw this one, I had to have it. I love this box with all the flowers in the back. I love all of the, this greenery here. It's, like I said, it's just beautiful. Um, and Jessica does have new formats. So this is her new um, ultimate format. I'm not sure what she calls her big ones, but she offers the ultimate and the little. And so this is the bigger one. These are the hearts checklist. The, I think these are beautiful. I don't normally use these, but from what I've seen, Jessica's kits don't offer as many 
um, like labels and boxes as other kits do that are like the big kits from shops. So what I think I'm gonna do is just cut these up for extra labels and little things if I need that. And I think that'll be a good way to bring in the color and like get this cute pattern in there. Um, so these are the boxes that she offers. I like that she offers both solid and ones with color or ones with the photographs on them. You get these blank labels. So I think they might be um, a little smaller than little things, but you can write whatever you want on them, obviously. These to-dos, which I won't use, so that's a waste, unfortunately. And then here's the weekend banner. Here you get your glitter headers and a bunch of little things, which is great. Huh, so this one says Countryside Farm and this says Countryside Living. So I'm not sure what this kit is actually called. Um, countryside Living. And then, oh, you got an extra box here, which is a beautiful spread. I love how she does the date covers here. You get some scripts, some icons, and then like these little doodlies that are cool. Here's the bottom washi and you get more flags and then this task and to-do box. Um, so that's cool. And then she does also offer ultimate sheets, which, um, I didn't get because they come with the um, heart checklists and I don't use those. So I didn't, it didn't seem worth it to me to get that extra sheet, especially since I have stuff in like my collection that I can pull in to supplement. So that's my order from Jessica Hearts. And then last but not least, I have an order from Plana Hannah. It's actually like two orders that I combined, I think. So let's get through it. I'll go through the freebies really quick. Um, so yeah, so I have all of these freebies since I am on the PR team. Um, I'll show you guys mine first. This is mine. It says, I smell snow in the quote overlay. It has YouTube binge, sleep in, a little wine glass, a switch, and a YouTube icon clapper, whatever it's called. And it has my Instagram handle on it. So if you want to get this freebie, you can add Steph to the notes or you can do Steph 15 for 15% 15 off. And that would be really great if you do that. Um, this freebie will come in like a random color. So you never know what you're going to get. And actually, I think I need to pull these aside because it's snowing here today. And I want to go ahead and use these um, since it doesn't snow here very often. And then I'll go through the rest of the freebies real quick. This one, these two... Or I guess this one is just a general shop freebie, which is kind of love themed. And then this one is from Shay Loves to Read. This is Plan, Plan with Shannon, Alt Girl Plans, Foil and Lace, and Carly Plants. So starting off, I got these summer icons in like this pretty blue foil for my vacation week that's coming up. I'm so excited to use these. Then I got some, I guess like silly icons to mark when funny things happen. These that are like pain, they're like worried, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, for bad times. Then I got some sad ones. And okay. Then I got some scripts. This one is Play Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a custom. I have two of these because I do play a lot. I got the OC in font five and font four because my husband wants us to start watching this show. I got Lazy Day, Great British Bake Off in font four and five. And then two more sheets of Sleep In in font five. And I got these foiled header overlays and the hearts. I think I was planning to use these for a specific kit, but I already laid that spread down. So I'll have to find another use for these. Then I also got this uh, washi overlays in the pink foil for Easter. So I think that those will be cute to pull in. And I got a bunch of quote overlays. Do y'all want to hear something funny about Winston? I found a lump on his back and I was so concerned about him that I called the vet and I took him in as soon as I could. And 
when we were there, we couldn't find it for a long time. And then when we finally did find it, it turned out it was just his microchip. So I took him to the vet for nothing and I panicked about nothing, but at least he's okay. Okay, anyways. So Hannah came out with these Taylor Swift quotes that I'm obsessed with. I'm a, the biggest Taylor fan. And so I had to get these. I think I got them in pink because I use that a lot, gold and silver. And so they say, I'm a mess, but I'm the mess that you wanted. We, cried, we, get, we cried tears of mascara in the bathroom. Honey, life is just a classroom. You say sorry just for show. Time turns flames to embers. I've never heard silence quite this loud. I was enchanted to meet you. All we are is skin and bone trained to get along. And I was a dreamer before you went and let me down. So... As much as I love Taylor, I feel like a lot of these quotes are kind of sad, so I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to pull them in, um, but I'm very excited to have them in my collection. Next up, I have these ship wheel underlays in uh, the, I think this is the mid blue. Again, these are to go with my vacation kit, which I'll actually go ahead and show you so you can see what it'll look like together. I'm going to be using this kit from SPC. And so I think these will go really well. And then I also got the silver big anchors to like mix with that. And I was leaning towards gold on this kit, but I really, I've just really been feeling silver lately and then I wanted a fun foil, obviously. So yeah, I'm, I think this is gonna turn out super cute. And big thanks to Hannah because I requested that she do nautical underlays and she came out with so many options that it was hard to like pick one. Or so I guess I picked two. Okay, moving on. Uh, Hannah came out with these whistle down um, quotes. So they're like Bridgerton quotes and I've been obsessed with Bridgerton lately. So I'm so excited. Um, season two is coming out March 25th. So I already have my kit ready for that. And I got these in purple to match that kit. So this one says, I get the tea from Lady Whistledown. My name is Lady Whistledown. You don't know me and never shall, but be forewarned, dear reader, I certainly know you. Single, taken, mentally dating the Duke of Hastings. Hell yes. It is you I cannot sacrifice. I burn for you. This one just has like a little... Um, I don't know, like a logo and it says lady whistle downs society papers spilling tea since 1813 you deserve nothing less you deserve everything your heart desires shall we promenade i love this box and then me unavailable you desirable so these are going to be great to have for the week that the new season comes out hannah also came out with a bunch of like i don't know like full box overlays <laughs> Uh, so I got the Confetti 4 option and I got it in the four core foils. So this is gold, rose gold, hollow, which is honestly the least favorite foil of mine, but here we are. And then silver. And then I also got them in hot pink. Not sure why I did hot pink, but I probably had something in mind. And then finally, I got the months in font five. Like my planner has the spot where you, where it says the month, but I feel like it's too low. So it kind of looks funny. So I got these so I can position them wherever I feel looks best. Um, oh, and I also have a couple wax orders. Let me go get those real quick. Okay, so I placed an order with Fantasy Wax I haven't ordered from them too much lately because I've been focusing on other wax shops. But she posted that one of the um one of the scents I wanted was almost sold out, so I had to get in there. So first up I have Shy Guy. This is from her Mario collection and it smells like fresh picked strawberries. Looks like this. And it smells really, really good. I wanna say it smells like strawberry jello but I love this one so I'm definitely gonna have to get a backup of that up next I got Bella and Edward from the Valentine's Day collection it smells like 
black cherry, strawberry, violet, and vanilla bean. This one I was hesitant about because I don't really like vanilla, but I was just, I just finished reading Midnight Sun, so I wanted to get this one to get into the, the feel of Twilight. I think it smells really good. It kind of smells like, it just smells really good and berry scented. Do you want to smell Winnie? No? Okay. Next up, I have Ellie and Carl, and this smells like strawberry white cake. And it has these cute little toppings on top. The strawberry is pretty strong on this one. And I feel like it smells more, more like a natural strawberry, not like a artificial strawberry. So, so I think this smells really good. Up next, I have Rapunzel and Flynn, and this smells like red velvet cake. It's a really pretty red color. It smells very bakery, very vanilla, kind of like cream cheese. It smells delicious. This one is Jess and Nick. It smells like raspberry, roses, and amber musk. Honestly, this one kind of smells like champagne to me, and I think it smells really good. And finally, we have Pam and Jim, and this one smells like chocolate-covered strawberries, which I love. Looks like a chocolate-covered strawberry, and smells just like one, too, so I'm very excited about this. And then, real quick, I also got the Planet Hannah and um black magic melts wax collab so i'll share that with you real quick um it came with this freebie from carly plans i don't know why i thought it came with six cents am i wrong okay it came with six cents but i don't know where my other one got off to i wonder if my husband stole it because the one that's missing is the one called Chris, and my husband's name is Chris. So, anyways. The one that is called Chris smells like peppermint bark, and... Okay, I found it. So, I found... it was on the floor behind my desk. So, this one is called Chris, and it smells like peppermint swirl and a birthday cake. I'm not a huge fan of peppermint, um, but I think this smells really good. I kind of want to eat it. Next up, we have Flying Flapjacks, which smells like maple pancakes, bacon, and zucchini bread. The maple is pretty strong in this one. And I really like it. <laughs> it smells just like breakfast. Next up, we have Planna Hannah, which smells like zucchini bread, strawberry, and birthday cake. It smells really good. It smells like strawberry cake, honestly. Next up, we have Mama, and this one is a Midsummer's Night, I guess, Yankee Candle type. I think out of all of them, this one is my least favorite, just because it's a bit um, strong. It's very cologne type, so I feel like this one might be a bathroom scent, just so that it doesn't give me a headache. But it smells good. Next up is Auntie Hands, which is pretzel, fresh bread, and zucchini bread. I'm not entirely sure what pretzel is supposed to smell like besides salty. So let's see. Yeah, that smells kind of like salty, buttery bread. It's making, it's making me hungry. And then finally, we have Sis, which I guess has gotten kind of melty in my house. And this one smells like coffee bean, orange chiffon cake, and sugar cookie. And I love a good coffee scent, so I'm excited for this one. It smells so good. It smells like if you walked into a Dunkin' Donuts mixed with a little bit of orange. So I love that. Um, okay, and I think that's everything I have to share with y'all today. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. And if y'all want to subscribe, I think that'd be awesome. And you know, click that like button, all those fun YouTube things. So I'll see you guys later.
Bye.